Hi there everyone. We're recording this video at one of the most romantic times of year around Valentine's Day. I'm sort of feeling a bit, feeling a bit nice. Yeah. So we're talking with Keith saying, what are we going to do? Have we got anything romantic and poems and things in the Royal Society archives? And it turns out they do, but I Brady wasn't too interested. No. I wasn't interested. <laughs> what I wanted to see were hearts, not love hearts, proper hearts. And do you think Keith's delivered the goods? Of course he has. Let's have a look at a bunch of stuff here all around the theme of hearts. And we're going to start with the story that sounds rather unusual of the blue boy. Okay, here we go. We've got 1817 to 1821, papers from the archives. So we've got all sorts of mathematics and maps and pictures. But this is what we're interested in to start with. A case of a blue child with a dissection by Mr. John Freeman Wood. And what's this letter about, Keith? Well, you can see that this guy is an MD, and it's a case note, effectively. So he's describing a case that he's come into contact with of a small child. I have taken the liberty of sending for your perusal the following particulars of a very remarkable case which occurred to me in the spring of 1817. About that time I was requested to see a little boy who had that peculiar livid colour of the skin which indicated some malconformation of the heart. And we learned that the child had this condition for about six months that was making mm. his skin appear yeah, blue. blue. And then unfortunately it looks like he died at the age of 21 months. Yes. But these are men of science and doctors and they want to figure out what's going on, what's wrong. Absolutely. So they have done a dissection of the heart and we have that here. So this is the figure from the post-mortem. We've got labels on it and the labels are referred to in the letter as well so we know what parts are what. So it describes the aorta. That's A. The additional vena cava superior. That's B. Pulmonary artery. C. And then the cavity of the left ventricle. D. Apparently destitute of muscular fibres so the heart lacks muscle in this particular area so presumably it's unable to, to pump. It's a tragic case, Keith, but it's really interesting, isn't it, to see this kind of early days of medical understanding and really trying well, to get they, in and find out what's going on. They wanted to learn, and, and the way you learn is by getting into the body and seeing what's normal, what's regular, and what causes conditions which in this case were fatal. So I did a bit of a search on the Royal Society's library website for other documents, and all of you can go to the Royal Society's library website. We'll put a link underneath the video so you can go and search what's in the archives anytime you want. That's what I did and I looked for anything involving hearts and I'm going to show you some of the stuff we've pulled out as a result. So this one's called Observations on the Structure and Connection of the Valves of the Human Heart. So this is from a tutor at St Bart's and Bartholomew's Hospital. It's presented by Edward Stanley, who's a fellow of the Royal Society. It's a very long paper this one. Yeah, and I'm sure all of it is very, very interesting. But we have got pictures. Here mm -hmm. we go. Figure one there, quite nice. Work. And, and we've got some sort of more detailed stuff, obviously showing sort of some of the finer structure of the heart. Nice figures there, some nice work being done. Nice little details of all the little fibres and they're all labelled. Let's pull out another one. So, not just human hearts this time. This is one that James behind the camera was quite excited to see. Apparently this is from an eel. Yeah. The paper itself is on a sequence of, of hearts, so it's not just the eel. Yeah, there's something about the wing of a bat and mm -hmm. there was another, I think there was a frog heart and things like that. Yeah, so, so he's looking at the structure of the veins, here we go, okay. and how blood is pumped through there. There we go. But we'll plough on. We never miss a beat here at Objectivity. That wasn't a very good one, was it? It wasn't really, I wasn't going to say anything. You've had some shockers too, oh. Keith. <laughs> These are the letters of Anthony van Leeuwenhoek. Van Leeuwenhoek, the famous microscope expert. So here we have not just a volume of his manuscript works, but uh, also some of his printed works. And this is a letter in Dutch. And as you can see, there's a printed section there. And if you get to the end, you'll see the illustrations that you wanted to have a look at. Okay. So this is fine structure of the heart, not the heart as a whole. Because van Leeuwenhoek was the kind of guy that liked to look in close detail, didn't he? Absolutely, yep. Very nice. But what you want to see really is, is a whole heart, isn't it, Brad? A whole heart. whole yeah. heart. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got a scrapbook for that. This is a section on anatomical preparations, on post-mortems and uh, sections of the body. There we go. Look at that. That is a proper nice old-fashioned old-school picture of a heart. 
got all sorts of sketches of hearts here, of various levels of detail and skill. So there we go. Perhaps not the romantic Valentine's video that people were hoping for, but... Huh? Yeah, heartfelt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here we go. What have we got here? Looks like, like Northern Lights. I think these may be by Charles Piazzi Smith, who was the astronomer royal for Scotland. These are little gems, these are. Oh, look at that. Oh, we've got a few brains here. Hmm. Look at these. 